Hey, welcome back to Best Deals and Bundles Reviews channel here on YouTube. Today I'm doing something a little different. Um, I had reviewed the Geeky GK65 keyboard a while back, and I have had a lot of questions on it. So I kind of wanted to do a video to answer those. One question is, what brand are the actual keys? And I do not know. I just don't know. The switches for the keys. Um, they don't say a brand on them. But the keyboard is compatible with three or five pin switches. So whatever you want to use to replace them, you can. Um, the other questions I've had is, is it a USB-C cable? And yes, it is. They do include one. It is relatively short. I got myself a nice long one. <clears throat> um, but the most common question was, how do I install the software to use it? So I'm going to actually demonstrate that today. So first you're going to want to go to this page here, which is geeky.gg slash pages slash download. I will put a link in the description for that um, just to help you out with finding it. Once you get here, you'll just want to download whatever the newest build is, which will be in this case 3.0. So just go ahead and download it. You can run it. You're going to see a message like this pop up. Um, that's because they don't sign their... Um, executable properly but it is safe i've used it for a while now nothing bad has ever happened so you can just hit the more info and hit run anyways and it will go ahead and install you'll do it in english and whatever language you want and then i'll let it install and then before i hit run i'm going to actually unplug my keyboard just to demonstrate one more thing so if a keyboard is not plugged in, it's going to pop up this message. That just means that your computer is not recognizing it. So I'll go ahead and plug it back in. And I will run the utility again. And now it'll actually be open. It'll just be down here in the bottom, which you can't see. Let me move this. It'll be down here. So just right click, hit configure. And then you will have the screen pop up. So once you're in here, you'll be able to make multiple profiles so you can switch through them easily, but mostly I just use the lighting. Um, so you can just kind of change whatever you want. You can change the colors. Um, but another question I do get asked is, is there a solid one, which there is. The reason it's not lighting up right now is I went ripple, which only does it when you do it, but there is what's always lighting and you can choose the color so I can have it just be whatever color I want out of these options. There are not a whole lot of options, but there are a few. So if you just want solid lights, you can do that. Um, but that's pretty easy to do. And there's that. Um, the other question I have been asked is what is a good keyboard camera? Um, I have one right now. I just got, and I don't remember the name of it, but I will add a link to the keyboard camera I am using actually in the description as well. So if you want a cam for your keyboard while you're gaming and streaming, if you like the one you're, that you see me using, then uh, I will have a link for that down there. I'll also put a link for this keyboard down there in case you still need to go buy one. Those links will all be affiliate links. If you purchase through them, I will earn a commission. Um, but that is all I have for today. If you have more questions, feel free to ask them on here or in the original video, which you can find on my channel by searching for Geeky. Um, but that is all. If you have more questions, ask them. If you like this video, hit the like button. If it helps you especially, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel because I am always trying to help you guys out.